So these wooden MDF laser cut kits have arrived, two of them, just a small workshop to put on the back. Um, pretty simple, just from this, this firm, I think they're only about seven, eight pound each. So I'm gonna go putting them together, getting them painted, weather them up. Um, the effect is they've got double wooden doors on the front there and a single wooden door with windows that can be a mess and there's windows down the side. It is flush at the back so it can sit right against the engine shed. Uh, it's flat roofed. Um, I was hoping for like a, a you know a lean-to roof, um, but I tried to have a look around on small pictures and flat roofs were about. So um, we'll get it together, see how it looks. Maybe when it's painted inside, get a bit of lighting in it as well. Hopefully it'll uh, sit well at the back of the sheds. So I'm going to crack on with one, see what it looks like. I'm going to try and get it to be similar colour to the engine shed, which is that really dirty browny green. With, with a weathered effect on it. So that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, got it glued, it's just clamped up now. I have to say, I mean, I, I'm sure they're only eight, eight pound a piece, but the corners look quite good to say, you know, sometimes with, with laser cut cards, you get really obvious corners, but the uh, the brickwork does seem to blend in quite well. Um, so I'm gonna leave that to dry now. Um, and I'm just thinking about what to do outside um, the, the workshop areas. And I've had these wheels Mills kits, these cobblestone sheets for quite a while. I'm wondering maybe to do something with these outside each yard, um, just a cobbled area, and then it'll blend into the ballast and, and everything else. I did see 
about years ago now, it was Tony Northeastern, I think, used these in his good yard and he did a really good job um, how he got them to blend in and how he weathered them and I thought it was really effective. So I've not used them anywhere else on the layout. I'm just wondering if it's maybe something I could do with these sheds. So I might have a little play around with that. I'm nearly finished. Um, I've not got the lighting in. I've put a separator in for the two rooms and I've got a bit of interior to do. But my plan always was I wanted them across the back like that, centered. But I'd have to do a bit of butchery. I'd probably need to cut this back wall out so there's access for that door still. But then I thought I might even put it that way instead. And then put this, get all the cobblestones in here. There's the weather piece. And somehow work them across there and onto the other one. So the more I look at it, the more I probably like it that way. Because um, then you've got like a full little courtyard area at the back. Get some little bits out there, bits of equipment or what have you. So I'm thinking that's probably how I'm going to do it now. Just getting this uh, workshop put into place. I have left these wires long, so it's a bit of a mess under there. Give me room to tidy them all up. So, that's roughly how I want it to be and then cobbles in this area so that one I played around with trying to weather I've just um, just been trying to cut some out just to make it look like they're wearing away a bit and the chance the thought being they would go across there now they're obviously facing that way so I need to decide what to do with these whether to have these going the opposite way because you do get an edge on two sides. So I'm thinking of chopping this end down so it fits flush. And then that could be like a, a drainage channel. We'll put a little drain there. So we've got those cobbles going that way and those going that way. And take them right up to the edge. Well, that's the plan. So let me have a play around with this and we'll uh, see what it looks like. So I've started cutting some of these and getting them in together. Um, it's very difficult to get a really neat edge where these join. You can see gaps, it does look a bit messy. Now, going back to that video I mentioned, I think it was five, about five years ago, that Tony Northeastern put out. He was using these and he had this problem with some of the gaps. And what he did was fill it very gently with polystyrene cement, filling these gaps. And then when it would dry, he was able to paint over and weather it. And it kind of hid some of these gaps. So I'm gonna have a go with that as well. Um, but it's slow work this, so hopefully I'll be able to show you what it looks like uh, sooner rather than later. So that's just um, blue grey, Vallejo blue grey paint, uh, just watered down slightly, brushed on, then dabbed and wiped with some bit of tissue. 
I think once it's dried I'll probably get a cotton bud and some IPA just to build some patches into it and then final bit just put some weeds uh, a few bits of growth on there and then I'll repeat it for the other shed Thank you.